Hey guys, it is Mitchell, and I wanted to just give you a phone tour because I've had a lot of requests to review the Lineage OS ROM on the Pocophone F1. So instead of giving you guys just a like a, a, a normal review, I'm going to give you a tour of my phone. I'm hey guys, it's Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use, things like cell phones, tablets, drones, and cameras. I also do videos about Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you are looking to pick up the Pocophone F1, I will have links to GearBest, Banggood, Amazon, and Ally Express. I'll go ahead and I will list them in order from the cheapest at the time that I make this video if you guys are looking to pick up a Pocophone. Also, I've had a few requests to do videos about how to unlock your bootloader and load a custom ROM on like on your phone. Uh, I am not the best at giving tutorials about this super technical type of stuff, but if you guys really want to see me do a video on that, uh, I would be more than happy to do so. So to start, we're just gonna go ahead and touch on the home screen. Uh, if you notice, I have all of the icon labels removed. So I have this really kind of slick, minimalistic aesthetic. The screensaver or the, the desktop uh, is just a stock picture. I'll probably change it out to something that I uh, took personally because I am a photographer. And uh, as you can see on the desktop, I keep it pretty minimalistic. Google Keep, if you guys don't use it, it's a great note-taking app. I've got the YouTube uh, Studio Creator, Reddit, shout out to all my Reddit friends, uh, and stuff on Instagram. And if you guys are on Instagram, I, I don't really promote my Instagram, but I do have a lot of really, really cool photos and content. Um, I've been a photographer for 15 years, and uh, I will use, uh, I'm actually doing more cell phone photography, so I took this with the Pocophone F1. Go ahead and check it out on Instagram at Mitchell Millennial, and I've got a bunch of other photography from here in Vietnam. Uh, but as you can see, we don't have a normal navigation bar. We now have the new gestures. So if you're unfamiliar with the gestures in Android Pie, a partial swipe up will be the uh, recent apps. Tapping at once will be the home screen. Now something I did that I think everyone might be interested in is I, you can go ahead and designate different uh, screen actions in Lineage OS. So if I want to do a quick app change, I can double tap my home button and it takes me back to the last app. So a lot of people have complained about the lack of fast app switching and that's your workaround. And it's available in Lineage OS. Next, uh, I've been leaving more stuff open in the background. Uh, and really with the Pocophone F1, it's, it's so fast, it's so seamless, it's so, everything about it is, is absolutely phenomenal for the, for the value. Um, and I, I'm really happy with it. Now, I haven't, I honestly haven't decided if I want to keep this or if I want to go back to a Xiaomi EU based ROM. Battery life on the Xiaomi ROM has been slightly better, uh, just to be completely frank. Uh, yesterday I made it from uh, like 98% to 26% and I had about five and a half, almost six hours of screen on time uh, and it got down to 28%. So I'm not on Wi-Fi all the time and I think that's a big part of it. Uh, we'll take you into the app drawer. Now, again, if you notice in the app drawer, all I have is the icons, I have no uh, no labels and in the Lineage OS ROM it allows you to disable stock, re uh, stock apps so you don't have to uninstall them. So I haven't uninstalled all of the stock apps yet but I have replaced a lot of them with the Google ones. Now something that I know a lot of people are going to be wondering, what camera app do I use? Well, from the lock screen, if I want to take a photo quickly and I just pull the phone out of my pocket, because of how much more responsive uh, the stock camera app is, that's my default app. But I do have 
the Google Cam, the BSG mod. And just to give you an idea, uh, it is pretty responsive. It's, it's pretty consistent, but it is definitely uh, a little bit slower most of the time. Uh, the MIUI stock camera app, I kind of miss it. I thought it was great. If there's a way that I can install it on this RAM, I definitely would because I felt like the MIUI stock camera app was a nice compromise between the two plus it had the full manual control uh, next up just to give you guys an idea of what lineage os what, I, what exactly i'm running uh, i am on lineage os 16 no the november 27th build and there's no new updates for it yet uh, overall it's not bad i like it it's it's quick it's really minimalistic, but I still kind of prefer Xiaomi's gestures. And the Xiaomi EU ROM is really, really well optimized. Uh, but I can just nitpick. Um, this was a photo I took. This is a terrible way to show photos. Uh, but I'll go ahead and I'll put it up on the screen with the night mode. And if you guys want me to do like a, a night mode overview or like a, a Google Pixel camera, like just kind of overview of what my impressions are, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. But I think I'm gonna cap this video here. It's a nice pretty photo to end it on. And like always, if you guys wanna see more videos about a specific subject, let me know in the comment section down below. Other photos. Okay, guys, till next time, it's been Mitchell.